moment but it's great to see everyone here today. John mentioned that I'm the prospective parliamentary candidate for Portsmouth North but I'm also a prospect representative for people working in the naval base. Uh, we have 300 members working for BAE, 300 members who are facing uncertainty at the moment uh, and may well be losing their jobs uh, and they've been losing their jobs as a result of what is an insane defence policy that the government are currently pursuing. Uh, ever since they came in in 2010, there's been massive confusion over what route they want to take. There's been massive overspends on the aircraft carriers because of the incoherence of their policy. Uh, and now they're proposing to close the shipyard down a year before the Scottish independence referendum vote is concluded. What that means is, if the Scots vote for independence, we will have no shipbuilding capacity here in the UK and we can only build ships, sovereign ships, in the UK. So it's an insane decision for the government to take at this time. We need to put political pressure on the coalition. The coalition are the ones that have determined this. They will seek to shift the blame on the company, but ultimately they decide the policy and they decide where the ships are going to be built. So we've got to put pressure on government and the coalition to change their view on this. It's a terrible time for our members who are working there in the naval base, but they will draw a lot of sustenance from you being here today and you supporting them. Uh, and if we can continue united in the city, united here in terms of trade unions, then we can achieve something for workers in there. So don't lose the faith and let's keep fighting for shipbuilding in Portsmouth. And, and shops and things like manufacturing bought in, they got rich on building cars. 